guys, how's it going? So, these episodes are going to be recorded back to back to back, and everything, and everything from now until the 5th of January is going to be pre-recorded because my monkeys are out of school, so I just wanted to let y'all know that, so if you have any ideas, I won't be able to, I, I won't be able to do them until after they go back to school, after winter break, but I will definitely be reading the comments and everything, and I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and so let's go ahead and get into this, because she, it, last episode, she found, she met, oh my gosh, I can't even control my game right now, heck, heckity, heck, 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 oh, Goodness gracious me. She met Mr. Marcus Keith and their sweethearts. And he's, a, of course, a neighbor. So she is definitely digging him. And they are now boyfriend and girlfriend. And it is just so hecking sweet. And everything, and I, oh goodness gracious, what is wrong with you guys? Everything's good, oh, attention. Oh. Pet talk to Conrad. Um play let's play she's gonna get something to eat and then you are go she's going to refill the animal bowls because they heckin need them <clears throat> And of course, one of her aspirations, one of her little things is to make out with Marcus. That is so hecking sweet. Oh, that is just so hecking sweet. And little Charlie Parley is asleep still. Who is calling me? Yeah, he is pretty cool. And I don't. Okay, so the backstory on Charlie Parley and her dad. They were high school sweethearts, and his, um, of course, his parents are rich, and so they didn't really want him dating someone that they considered not to be heckin' filthy stinking rich, and someone that wasn't to their aspects of what um, would be the perfect match for him and so but that didn't stop them and then one day she found out that she was pregnant with Charlie and I'm gonna go in and modify her outfit a little bit because of the weather and because it's gonna be cold outside seeing as Christmas time. I'm going to change her outfit up a little bit. Um, but she is, she found out she was pregnant with Charlie. Sorry, and so that really, he didn't believe that for some reason, he didn't believe that it was his hmm? and everything. And it was just really one big blow up that he let his parents get into his head and he had to choose between her or having a living, having his trust fund taken away from him. And so he didn't know what to do. He was young and everything. So he kind of just went with what he knew and that was what hmm. his parents had taught him 
over the years and everything. And so, oh my God, those, that is heckin' cute. That is just so heckin' cute. I love, love, love that. Oh my God. I love that, guys. Oh my gosh. I just absolutely heckin' love that. Oh my goodness. That is just so hecking beautiful i just oh i just i can't help it i'm in love with it i'm in love add a little choker to it definitely oh my gosh i'm so hecking in love with it oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness oh i just can't help myself i really can't seriously and utterly i cannot help myself Oh my gosh. I just can't. And I know I had a jacket type in here somewhere. I'm not for sure where it went, but I could have sworn I had like a like, like a little jacket she could put over it. But I'm not exactly for sure where it went. But that's okay because we don't need it because we've got Oh, wait, here it is. No, I don't really like that. I really don't like that. I think she's good like that. Okay. So let's move over to Charlie Parley, and let's see what we can give her. I mean, she's pretty much got... She's she's pretty much warm on that note, but I'm kind of wanting, like, maybe like a little something warm for her and I'm sorry if you can hear my kids in the background because they are hecking little just complete hecking oh my gosh little hecklings um I totally think those are cuter on her for sure totally cuter on her than yeah but I kind of want to change her top a little bit because it's winter and I think she needs a long sleeve shirt, which I think that will work on her. That is so heckin' cute, for sure. Okay, so, going back into the game. So, basically, he basically told Phoenix that he couldn't be with her. And that he wasn't really for sure what to do or anything. And he's sorry. And that maybe she should give the baby up for adoption. And knowing... F and Phoenix was like, um, no, it's not going to happen. I'll take this kid and I will raise her myself. Oh my gosh, definitely. That looks hecking cute on her. Oh my gosh. But she is hecking tired. So she is going to go to bed Oh, the little Bubba. Little Bubba, where are you? Oh my gosh, why are you sad? Oh my gosh, did you just walk away from her? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Hug lovingly. Oh. 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 Pick up, and we will bring her down here. We'll put her, put Charlie down here. And then let's open this up and see what we have to give little Charlie Parley. And she is definitely going to go grab a serving of that. Oh my gosh, I just love that hecking outfit on her. It is so hecking cute. Oh! Alright, 
you go take a nap. <clears throat> Alright, first you're going to lecture about eating human food. Because that is a no-no. Oh, she's going to come over here and sit. This is so fucking cute. She already knows she's in trouble. She's like, oh, no, I didn't mean to. Oh, my goodness. Little Charlie Parley. Oh, the poor little thing. Oh. She's just so sweet, and I fucking love her. In three days, she's going to age up into a child. Oh, my God. So, we will see if she keeps her mom's... And I did add the pet mod back in. So, go here. She didn't like being scolded, but, oh, well, she'll live... Uh, okay, Ryder McKinderson is, um, Charlie's dad. He is the one that I was telling you about that didn't know what to do. Oh my gosh, really? Um, and everything, and so... She is going to go <laughs> hug lovingly because, you know, he wants to be back in his child's life because, you know, now that he got his inheritance and everything and his parents are no longer in the picture, he wants to be in his child's life and he feels bad <laughs> and everything for all of it that happened and leaving her alone to handle and take care of Charlie by herself. He feels really bad about that, but, um, but it's definitely something that helped, it helped with the experience of everything. Um, play. He's like, I want to play, Daddy. I want to play. I want to play. Oh. oh, my gosh, guys. Look at this hecking cuteness. Oh, my gosh. That is just so hecking cute. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, though. Seriously, though, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't think I can get enough of this cuteness. Seriously. This cuteness in itself is just so hecking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just so hecking cute. Oh. I know, I just like took a crap ton of pictures, but, but anyways, it's, um, definitely hugging friendly, um, let's do book help. And everything else, and I think my mind will come up here and lay down and go to sleep. Poor Charlie Parley. Oh. And see, this is where she's going to wake up and come he's in. And he's like, it's okay, I'm her father, just 
relax, chill. I think this is where she's going to come in and totally see this cuteness of um, this total cuteness of all of this and everything. Oh, he's like, book help, please, Daddy. Read to me. Read to me. And so that's what she's going to do. And uh, what the heck was that? Oh, my God. She just, like, stretched out. She's going to come down here and see this, and it's going to melt her heart for sure. Bar. It's definitely going to melt her heart to see this happening and everything. She's going to be like, oh my gosh. She's like, oh my gosh. This is like everything I ever dreamed of and everything and whatnot. It's just, she's, she's just like, this is everything I ever dreamed of right here. The family that I wanted for... So when when she since she found out she was pregnant with Charlie and everything and it's just so heckin' cute and and everything but she's gonna come over here and she's gonna talk to him and um, ask about his day and. Even though she is dating Marcus, she still wants to know how he's doing because, you know, she was, he was his true love. She was his true love. And, oh, and everything. And so, I mean, you know, it's something that you just can't get over your first true love and everything. And so, they're going to be talking and everything, and they're going to see how, they're going to, they're going to talk for a while, and everything, and have a deep conversation about how life has been since... They split ways and everything, and she's telling him about her grandma's death and how he left her so much money and to do all of this together and everything, and it's just so heckin' cute, but she really wants him to be a part of Charlie's life. Because, after all, he is the real father. And so, she does want him to be a part of Charlie's, little Charlie Parley's life and everything. And so, that's what she is going to talk to him about. Because, and, they're, and that's what they're going to talk about. They're gonna, he's going to be like, I want, I, I, he goes up, he's going to be like, I seriously want to be a part of her life. Because I seriously just want to be there for her and show her that, um, that I'm sorry for everything that happened and went wrong and everything. And Phoenix, like, Phoenix was like, okay, okay, I totally understand that and I agree. I would love for you to be a part of her life. I mean, after all, you are her father and everything, so it's definitely reveal a deep secret and everything. Oh, they're even going to take a picture together. That's cute. And it, they still want to be friends and everything, but it... I think he might be going and checking. I wonder if he's going to go check on her or what he's going to do. Nope. He's going directly for the hecking computer. Go figure. He can't even check on his daughter, but that's okay. Don't you 
even go in there and wake that baby up. Don't you even. Okay, why don't you go here, sleep here, and everything else. And I am so sorry if you guys can hear the ruckus that is going on in the background because my kids are... Oh, no, you did not. Oh, no, you did not. You did not just wake her up. Maya, oh, scold for waking up. Bad girl. Bad girl. Bad girl. That is such a hecking bad girl. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No. But she kind of wonders why... But she kind of wonders why hecking... Stop barking. But she kind of wonders why that... Um, all of a sudden, when she's almost a um, child, that he comes back into her life. Why he waited so long, and everything. So it's definitely Phoenix has got a lot of questions that she wants answered. But right now, she's got to head to the vet and open up the clinic. Because it is almost time, it is time to open up the clinic, get started. Oh, sorry guys. I gotta keep taking something to drink, otherwise my throat gets all blue. And I am so totally sorry for the background noise. Kids kind of just like, yeah. But anyways, they absolutely hecking. Absolutely hecking. I kind of want to. I kind of wanted just to leave her in that outfit, just because it is so cute and everything. And guys, sorry. Oh my gosh, they are not listening. But anyways, I think we're probably going to leave this episode here. And, let's see, is there anything we can patient, I kind of want to get down to where I can, like, um, let's check that out. She's doing pretty well, so I'm happy. Oh, so, I might want to give her a promotion, though, real quick. Um, manage, promote, promote, and I think I might go back and revamp. I might do a little video on revamping the whole place because I kind of, I kind of, I don't like the way it looks right now. I mean, scheme wise, it's dark and everything, and I just, I don't hecking like it. <laughs> okay, so now she's got her promotion, but I think we are going to leave this video right here. So if you guys like this video, show that like button some love. If you think that maybe, tell me your thoughts on what you think writers, if writer has a, if he's actually wanting more than just being part of Charlie's life, maybe he's wanting his family back, maybe he's wanting a, his family, maybe he still has feelings for Phoenix, who knows? We will find out. We will find out soon, let's just say that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, night, no matter where you are at in the world. And remember, I love each and hecking every one of you so much. You all are important, you're unique. And without you, this channel would not be where it is today. And I just want to remind you guys that I love you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.